Hi everyone, uh, this is going to be quite a quick video, it's a sort of semi-haul. Um, these are some orders I had from a couple of UK planner and stationery shops. Um, sorry, that's my phone. Uh, which um, I've actually already sort of shared on my blog, but I wanted to do a quick video because there's some stuff, particularly sort of paper ephemera, that um, I thought it would be better to show on film so I didn't have to take a million photos of each thing. Uh, so, I have two orders. One is from Cloudy Cow, which is the shop of uh, My Green Cow on YouTube, and Mrs. Brimbles. Uh, I'm going to start with the Cloudy Cat. Um, oh, the first thing first uh, is I got a planner charm, which isn't in this because I have installed it on my uh, Paper Chase Nordic Nights folio. You can probably see that it doesn't quite match the thing, which I was, uh, I don't know why I was expecting it to, because this obviously isn't as bright as this looked on the uh, screen on the website, but it's close enough and I think it looks pretty, <laughs> so I'm happy with that. I might shorten it a bit, as at the moment it's just dangling a bit far for my liking, uh, and that came in this sweet little organza bag, which I'll probably shove in my smashbooking stuff or something. Um... Then I got these stickers, which I've already thrown away the kind of backing. Um, these these are kind of... I haven't had any like this before. They're sort of washy stickers, I guess. It's hard to describe from just looking at them, but they're sort of... Yeah, they feel like washi tape or something. Um, I don't know if they'll be a see-through. They don't appear to be if I'm when I'm holding them like this, but we shall see. And these were called graffiti stickers, I think. Um, yeah, I'll try and... Uh, put that in the description if that's what they're called. Uh, my favourite has to be this, this little ghost or this sort of fat bear. <laughs> I don't know what it is but I like it. Uh, then I got three washi tapes. This one was on sale. Spider webs. This one's strawberries. And this one's sort of multicoloured hearts. And then... I got these ABC clear stickers and these owl flake stickers and uh, these Totoro magnetic clips which I, I actually, there's sort of four different designs and I had to choose the pink one and he's just so cute and I've n I haven't had any magnetic clips before and I'm just so it's so satisfying the sound it makes listen Ah. <laughs> um, yes, and I, I think that was all my order. It's possible I've taken something out, but I don't think so. Uh, next, my Mrs. Brimble bits. This I mainly bought sort of discounted things a lot from Christmas and Halloween. Um, this is just a sweet postcard that came in my order. Um, I got these stickers, which are little tiny weather icons. I got this pen, which is adorable. Little foxes all over. I got this to go with my Nordic Nights paper chase planner, but then I found the matching pen uh, in a paper chase that I don't usually go to, so I'm not sure what I'll do with that fox pen, but... Anyway, uh, I got two washi tapes. This is one I was going to get from Cloudy Cow, but uh, it was out of stock, so this is just black and white hearts. And then this one was on sale because it's Christmas themed. comes in this cute little box, and it's a Fair Isle print. I got two sets of flake stickers. These are little woodland bunnies and mushrooms and that sort of thing. And these are just beautiful. Um, you can see all the different kinds on the back here, if it'll focus. They're little unicorns and shooting stars and rainbows and ice creams and all all that kind of stuff. Um, okay, then I got this seagull card. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. It'll probably go in one of my scrapbooks or something. Uh, it was on sale and I just really liked the, uh, the print, so I figured I'd pick it up. Then I got, this is uh, why I was making this video in the first place, I've got three sort of ephemera packs. This one is 
again on sale a Christmas themed one of die cuts these are all double sided so you could sort of have them hanging or that sort of thing oh well this one isn't double sided but most of them are and it's this sort of vintagey children's Christmas looking thing which I love like a vintage Christmas children's annual or something so it's got lots of little things and then it's got uh, lots of little pictures I mean and then it's got things like these mail um, stickers like rush and gift tags and these I'm not sure what they are they're some kind of number tag I don't know and some price tags and then I got two Halloweeny things first of all this witch hazel miscellany pack of uh, ephemera <laughs> just pour it all out so in this I've got one two five little buttons this little little guy of ribbon and then lots of die cuts so four little skulls a strip these are all single sided a strip of uh, sort of entry tag type things raffle tickets which are so cute <laughs> I wish I could use them I want uh, a Halloween hayride or a candy apple <laughs> and then this little strip of just sort of Halloweeny sayings then you get these die cuts banner which is hat Pump owl on a pumpkin of course <laughs> little witch cute tiny black cat another cat <laughs> and again these have got that kind of vintage children's book kind of style which I just absolutely love then there are these cards I'm not sure what like uh, if you would count these as journaling cards because I've never used them or if they're just sort of ephemera from some kind of game it looks like it could be but anyway the cute costumes one jack-o-lanterns and then ghost and witch this one's adorable little creepy scarecrow number seven diamonds card <laughs> and then four bigger oh yeah more than four biggerish cards these are just sort of they look like they were probably came from and uh, vintage books i just love all the colors uh right and then finally i got these halloween um, sorry that's my phone again these Halloween uh, dividers and um, sort of they're just called pattern pages you get four of these actual dividers with tabs which are just sort of plain one sided with a name and date on them and then you get Um, 11 I think of these you get um, two which are which have decorative patterns around the edges these are all double sided so on this one you get a little witch and then a spooky tree and in this one you get pumpkins with it's Halloween and some dancing skeletons on the back um, and they've got yes as I said they've got die cut edges and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these little patterned. They're sort of dividers, but not quite. They don't have tabs, and you could use them just for scrapbooking or whatever you want. They're all double sided, so I'll just go through them. 
I'd like to make these into dividers for one of my planners, but I'm not sure if the sizing's right, so I'm going to have a go with one of the ones that have tabs because they're not patterned. And I don't really mind if I mess up with one of those. If I can't use them as dividers, I might just make a kind of little Halloween smash book or something, because I love Halloween and I love all of these sort of images and patterns. And this was in the sale, I think it was about £4, maybe less. I'll, uh, I'll leave a list of sort of how much everything costs. Anyway, that's my little show and tell. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you were thinking about getting any of the ephemera, maybe that'll um, have helped give you more of an idea what's in there. And uh, go check out the shops, because they're great, especially if you're in the UK. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please, if you enjoy the video, give me a like if you'd like to. Or, uh, you know, if you don't want to, that's fine too. And have a great day.